following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain motions for default judgment in Illinois civil litigation. So what is a default judgment? A judgment is a judgment against the defendant in a case that isn't based on a hearing on the merits of the case. It's based on the defendant failing to participate properly in the case. So this often happens at the outset of a case, um, and I'll explain how that works. So when a case is initiated, a plaintiff files a complaint that lays out the allegations that would entitle them to relief from the court and a summons that states and tells the defendant when the first court date is and tells them about their obligation to file an answer to the complaint. An answer is a document that admits or denies the allegations of the complaint. So when that first court date shows up, if the defendant isn't there and hasn't filed an answer and the plaintiff can prove through the affidavit of the sheriff or special process server that the defendant was in fact properly served with the complaint and the summons and all the documents are in order, then what the court will do will be to issue a default judgment. And courts don't always do this, uh, take the plaintiff's word for what is owed by the defendant, even in a default judgment situation. So what will often happen will be a default will be entered and the case will be scheduled for a second court date for something called the prove up. And this is when the plaintiff will go and bring their documents showing, yes, I here's the contract I had with this person, uh, I testify that he hasn't paid the contract, they'll have to prove the dollar amount owed, and the court will enter judgment in the plaintiff's favor, a default judgment in the plaintiff's favor, for the amount that they can prove that is owed. Now, it's not a, it, it's not always a rigorous uh, exercise to prove something like this. Sometimes, depending on the court, you just need to prove that uh, that the defendant was properly served in order to get the default judgment. Sometimes the default judgment will be entered in the same court date um, as as the first court appearance that the, def that the defendant fails to appear at. And so this default judgment, once it's entered, is just as good as any other judgment against the defendant with one caveat. Uh, within 30 days, if the defendant chooses to file a motion to vacate the default judgment, the default judgment is almost always basically overturned and the case continues as normal. Um, so... It, once the judgment basically passes this 30-day period, then it's enforceable just like any other judgment. We, when we get a default judgment against a defendant, though, we usually wait 30 days before trying to enforce it because we know that if within 30 days of the judgment being entered, the defendant no enters a motion to vacate, the default judgment is going to be overturned and the case is going to continue as normal. They don't really even have to show much of a reason why they didn't participate in the case. Now, after that 30-day window closes, in order to get the default judgment overturned, the defendant will basically have to show that they weren't properly served. Or they, they're basically, they have to show a really, really good reason why they weren't participating in the court date and, and why they let it go past 30 days. So usually what that comes down to is there was some sort of error in the sheriff's affidavit or something wrong with service, and then they can get the default judgment overturned. But once the default judgment is entered, that 30-day period elapses and you feel pretty good about that this judgment has been solidified, again, then it can be enforced just like a judgment based on the merits of the case. And we talked about what happens when a defendant doesn't show up to the case, but a default judgment can, can happen basically any time in the case. You know, Parties are, or their representatives are required to appear at all court appearances, and depending on the nature of the court appearance, if one party fails to show up, the, the judge may enter a default judgment against the, the defendant. If the plaintiff fails to show up, the, they may have their case dismissed. So it's, that's the equivalent of the, the default judgment. So that's basically what you need to know about default judgments. Again, the, the bottom line is they're enforceable just like any other judgment, but you should probably wait 30 days before trying to enforce them because within that 30-day window, they can be overturned. If you have any questions, please leave a comment at our comment section at learn-about-law.com under the post. We try to respond within about 24 hours. Uh, if you find this, find this helpful, uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And feel free to call us for a free consultation at 630-324-6666. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. 
click the subscribe button for new videos every week, and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com, and visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.